Good evening, this is Dr. Pradhan here. Welcome to NPTEL project on econometric modeling. So, today we will continue the simultaneous equation modeling. So, in the last lectures, we have uh, highlighted very briefly the structure of simul uh, uh, simultaneous equation modeling and how it is different to uh, you can say single equation modeling. So, so in the econometric modeling all together econometric modeling can be classified can be classified into two groups one is called as a single equation modeling single equation modeling and simultaneous equation modeling so so, altogether the entire econometric modeling problem can be divided into two parts single equation modeling and structural equation modeling. So, now, uh, now in the case of uh, single equation modeling, there is a single equation. So, our objective is to estimate the parameters and you fit a model which uh, can be considered as the best and can be used for uh, forecasting and policy use. But in the other sides, uh, uh, you can say simultaneous equation systems. So, there are several equations and we need to identify each equation and in the same time we need to estimate the parameters and that model can be best models and can be considered as uh, can be used for prediction and policy use. So, in the single equation modeling there is one way uh, the objective is or uh, the structure is one way casualty. The, that means that is the uh, the investigation is on one way causality. So means it is only independent variables which can influence on y. So that means there is only one dependent variable which is several or single multiple independent variables. In the other side, there are several dependent variables and several independent variables. These are called as a, uh, means dependent variable cluster is called as a endogenous variable and. Uh, uh, independent variable cluster is called as a exogenous variables all right so now in this thing, uh, simultaneous equation systems so there is a question of uh, two a causality that means it, there is a possibility of bidirectional causality so while uh, in the case of single equation modeling there is a one way causality so when we handle the uh, two a causality or you know simultaneous equation system then obviously it is a little bit complex because uh, um, various equations and various variables are go together so means simultaneously so as a result so there is a very means it is a very much complex problem so it is uh, this complexity is a complexity issue is very high in the case of simultaneous equation modeling so one such complexity means basically the entire complex pro means the complexity is divided into two parts. For instance, in the for instance single equation modeling, this is one way causality. So this is one way causality, and this is a two way causality. Two way causality. Okay. So once uh, once you handle this particular issue, so then obviously there are two standard problems we have to face. So one is called as a problem of problem of identifications problem of identifications and problem of problem of estimations okay problem of estimations okay l let me uh, hi uh, highlight once again cs so now in the simultaneous uh, simultaneous equation modeling in the simultaneous simultaneous equation modeling in the simultaneous equation modeling so the problem is identifications and this is called as a estimations okay so estimation so that means here we cannot directly uh, the application of OLS is a question mark okay and so far as identification is concerned so, uh, uh, then uh, you know before you going to uh, examine the identification or estimation, so there is a special uh, issue here uh, means in the simultaneous equation modeling that means the model should be very consistent one. So, what is mean by consistent one? So, that means each equation can be identified, uh, each equation means not can be it should be identified, each parameters, parameters of each equation should be estimated 
and the system should be consistent very very much consistent that means number of equation should be equal to number of parameters that may uh, so the system simultaneous equation modeling will be in unique form if the model is statistically in uniform each equation can be identified and parameters of the equation uh, I mean system should be uh, estimated and number of equations should be exactly equal to number of parameters then the system will be very consistent and systematic if it is other way around then obviously it will give you lots of biasness or you can say the system itself will give you inconsistent setup so now so if that is the case after all these issues so we, when we will go for uh, generally a whatever discussion we have till now so we start with the first wireless techniques then ultimately we have to redesign restructure till we get the better fitted model so now here the start, starting point of application of OLS give you the bias result. So that means it will give you serious estimation problem. So the moment you will go for serious estimation problem, so you need to have alternatives. So that means we look for alternatives, okay? Alternatives. So this is our objective. So now in the case of identification, so here, so uh, uh, each equation to be identified in that particular system, okay? So, that means here each equations, each equation to be identified, to be identified, okay? Each equation to be identified in the system. So, now how do you identify? So, when we will go for identification, then obviously there are three, dif uh, three different setup you will find. One is called as a over identified, over identified model, over identified model, then exactly identified models exactly identify models exactly identify model then uh, uh, you know uh, uh, this is called as a uh, under identify models under identify models under identify under identify model so this is this is that means when there is a question of identifications so you have two answers yes and no okay so if it is no then it will come to here if it is yes then it will come to here okay so that means so if equation is identified then obviously question is uh, uh, whether it is exactly identified or wh whether it is uh, over identified so when it is uh, 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 when yes, uh, question is answer is no then obviously it, it is question of under identified model so now how will you go for this identification so we start with the first identification then we will move into the estimation side okay so what is this identification problem to all together so now uh, so far as a identification problem is concerned under simultaneous equation modeling identification problem so uh, uh, the identification problem basically we use two different criteria to identify a particular equation in a particular system okay i mean simultaneous equation system so what is this identification so the first concept called as a necessary conditions so the rule is to examine necessary conditions so there are two conditions necessary conditions and sufficient conditions okay so there are two conditions to identify the model in a particular identify equation in a particular system so necessary condition and sufficient condition this is called as a order conditions this is called as a order condition and this is called as a uh, uh, this is called as a uh, uh, this is called as a uh, rank conditions this is called as a rank conditions okay uh, or order condition and this is called as a rank condition this is sometimes called as a counting principles counting principles and this is sometimes called as a ordering principles ordering principles ordering principles okay so now we like to highlight what is oh, what is the setup of you know uh, this uh, uh, order condition and you know uh, this uh, uh, rank conditions so order condition means what is a uh, uh, necessary condition that means it is the counting rule which the variable included in a particular uh, uh, equation uh, the difference between the total number of variables in the systems and uh, the total number of variables in a particular equation 
should be greater than equal to number of equations minus 1. So, this is the structure of the necessary conditions and in the case of range condition, we like to construct a matrix which is called as a reduced form of a matrix okay? and that matrix should have a, a significant value. That means, the determinant of that reduced form of matrix should be have a positive value. So, to examine that situation, we will highlight a, a, in a brief way here. So, let us start with this uh, 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 you know counting principle first. So, what is this order condition altogether? So, now order condition is that okay, what is order condition perfectly? So, uh, there is a, a, a since it is a counting rule or you can say necessary condition. So, the principle is here. So, the apply principle is k minus m should be greater than equal to g minus 1. So, okay. so k is here total number of total number of variables total number of variables in the systems okay in the systems you see here so we have a system just like you know we have uh, last class we have discussed the cancel model system and uh, there is a system uh, structural uh, simultaneous equation modeling having two equations so that means uh, uh, it is a system where uh, there should be there should be at least two equation uh, 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 together, so, otherwise uh, it cannot be called as a simultaneous equation model. Uh, in that systems, there should not be one equation, there should be multiple equations. So, the, uh, the starting of the game under simultaneous equation modeling is that there should be at least two equation in a particular system. So, if it is two equation, then it is called as a simultaneous equation modeling. If it is more than two, then obviously, will continue. Like but if it is only one equation in the system, then it is called as a sing just single equation modeling. Okay? So, that means, in this simultaneous equation modeling, you mu must have multiple equations and your objective is to identify each equation and to I estimate the parameters of each equation. So, that is the two major problems of simultaneous equation modeling. So, now, so far as the ordering con order condition is concerned, so we like to know what is the total means total number of variable included in the system, okay? including whatever number uh, whatever uh, equations are there. So, total number of variable in the system minus number of variables included in a particular equation should be greater than to uh, greater than equal to number of equations minus 1. Okay? So, now so I, I mathematically I will write k minus a, m should be greater than equal to g minus 1. So, k represents total number of variables in the systems and m represents total number of total number of means total number of variables total number of variables in the particular equation in the particular equation which we have identified for identification okay, in a particular in a particular equation, in a particular equation. So, this is a called as a m principles. Okay. So, now g equal to total number of total number of equations in the systems in the system, total number of equation in the uh, in the systems. Okay. So, you see here, uh, you see here. So, if if k minus m greater than 2 g minus 1 then it is called as a over identify model it is called as a over identify identified over identify models okay then if k minus m is is exactly equal to g minus 1 then it is called as a exactly identify models exactly identify models exactly identify models okay exactly identify model. So, similarly, if k minus m less than to g minus 1, it is called as a, a it is called as a under, uh, under identify models, it is called as a under identify models, okay, under identify models. Let us take an example here. So, uh, means uh, basically uh, here the agenda is to uh, means to examine the identification of that particular simultaneous equation modeling. So, that means the uh, first thing is uh, the model must be in a unique form, uh, I mean statistically in a unique form each equation can be identified and then parameter uh, of the equation should be uh, estimated and the uh, means the system should have a number of equations should be number of equal to parameters 
then we will, we will say that this is the unique system. So, now once it is unique system, so the starting point of this system is that we have to identify each equation whether it is uh, over identify, exactly identify or you can say under identify and to know the particular structure. So, we usually apply this trick rule is called as a uh, counting rule. So, that is necessary condition or you can say uh, uh, count uh, uh, you know order conditions. So, now in the order condition the formula is k minus b uh, k minus m should be greater than equal to g minus 1, k is the total number of variables in the systems, uh, m is the total number of variables in a particular equation which we like to identify and g is the total number of equations in the systems. So, that means the system says that the identification rule says that the difference between total number of variables in the system and total number of variables that the equation to be identified should be greater than equal to number of equations minus 1. So, if it is so, then it is consistent otherwise this system will be inconsistent. So, let us see here. So, now, so we, we will take a example here. So, let us start with a simple problem here. So, y, y 1, y 1 equal to 3 y 2, 3 y 2 minus 2 x 1 plus x 2 plus u 1. Okay. So, then and then y 2 equal to y 3 plus x 3 plus u 2. Okay. Then y 3 equal to y 1 minus y 2 minus 2 x 3 plus u 3. Okay. So, now what are, what are the variables here? So, now the variables are here. So, y 1, y 2, y 3 one clusters and x 1, x 1 and x 2, x 3 are another clusters. So, now uh, uh, y 1, y 2, y 3 are is called as a, a, a means they are called as a endogenous variables and x 1 and x 2, uh, x 3 are called as a exogenous variables alright. So, that means here is y 1, y 2, y 3 are called as a endogenous variables, it is called as a endogenous variables ok. Then x 1, x 2, x 3 are called as a exogenous variables, exogenous variables and u 1, u 2, u 3 are stochastic disturbance term, stochastic disturbance term or error term disturbance term ok. So, 3, 2, 1, then 1, 1, uh, 1, 1, these are coefficients. So, we, which you will discuss details in the case of rank condition because for the uh, for the time being in the case of order condition, the coefficient of this particular variables are not essential. However, the essential is in just you have to count the, that is that is why it is known as a counting rule. Uh, so, you have to count the total number of variables in the systems and total number of uh, total number of variables per equations then number of equation in the system. So, you need three items only. So, total number of variables in the system, total number of variables for each equation and total number of equations in the system. So, once we have these three information, we can able to detect or you can able to identify each and every equation in the simultaneous equation system. All right. So, now uh, uh, for first equation, let us say we like to target first equation. So, now obviously in this particular setup, so your k equal to 6, okay. so k equal to 6 and what is the g here? So, g is equal to here 3. Okay. So, now you see here, so when a, a simultaneous equation structure is with you, then obviously k, uh, 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 your objective is go for identification, then obviously your objective is to identify each equation in the system. So, now when you target uh, one by one equation, then obviously every every equation uh, means every identification case, so k and g will be always there. So, that is why for every equation k will be remain same and g will be always remain same. Only only variability factor is that m, com, m component. Okay. So, m should vary depends upon equation to equation. That means, it is the m is the potential element uh, which can uh, which can exactly identify the structure of means exactly identify the nature of the particular equations. Okay. So, now in this particular problem, so k equal to 6 and g equal to 3. Okay. So, now we will target for equation 1. So, now for equation 1, so 1, 2, 3, 4, oh, one, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, that means 
it is a m equal to 4 years. So, now uh, what is the balance sheet? So, balance sheet is k minus m into g minus greater than to g minus 1. So, that is your uh, 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 formula. So, the means here k is 6 years, m equal to 4 years. So, greater than equal to g minus 1, 3 minus 1. Okay. So, that means it is 2 equal to 2. Okay. So, that means it is exactly identified. This system is it is called as a exactly identified. Okay. So, this particular equation that means in this particular uh, simultaneous equation system, first equation is exactly identified. Okay. So, then we will go for second equation. In the second equation, in the second equation, uh, uh, let us take this one first. In the second equation, in the second equation, so for second equation, second equation 1, 2, 3. Okay. So, k is already 6, then g already equal to 3 then obviously, this is uh, this is 3. So, second equation m equal to uh, 3, okay, m equal to 3. So, that means, 6 minus 3, 6 minus 3 greater than equal to 3 minus 1. So, that means, the balance sheet is, uh, this is 3 uh, greater than to 2. So, that means, this is identification, uh, this means the second equation is over identified. This is second equation is over identified over identified. Okay. So, then you come to third equation, third equation. So, third equation 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. So, this is 4. So, that means m equal to 4 here. So, k is already 6, g is already 3. So, that means 6 minus 4 is greater than equal to 3 minus 1. So, that means 2 equal to 2 that is exactly, ident exactly identified. Exactly identified. Okay. So, that means that means in this particular system so we have there uh, we have three different uh, equations and uh, all together there are six uh, six uh, uh, variables okay so including three endogenous and three exogenous so so far as the counting uh, counting rule identification rule is concerned so we are not serious uh, 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 how many are endogenous and how many are exogenous so, we are very much concerned what are the total number of variables in the system, what are the total number of variables in a particular equation and what are the number of equations. So, these three conditions are required to justify the order condition for identification problem. Okay. So, in this particular problem, so we have three equations, so consist of six variables, that to three endogenous variables, three exogenous variables. Okay. So, now by having such information, uh, obviously there are three equations. So, first equation is identified as exact, second equation is over identified and third equation is again exactly identified. So, now uh, this is not in fact sufficient. So, all our condition will give you signal whether the system is a, 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 a means identified or not, but uh, the is, uh, it has to be verified through sufficient condition that is rank condition. So, what is rank condition? Uh, rank condition is uh, means in a system of G, uh, G equation, any particular equation can be identified uh, if a and only if possible to construct uh, at least one non-zero non determinant of uh, order G minus 1 from the coefficients of variable included excluded, for, excluded from the particular equations, but included in other equation models. So, that means, it is just uh, derived from that counting principles. So, that means, what is rank condition? In a rank condition, it is you know, we have to de, uh, we have to find out the uh, rank, uh, which is from the reduced form of the matrix. So, that means, we apply the counting rules. So, by the way, we have to reduce the entire system into a, 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 a means order of g minus 1 uh, coefficients. Then, you have to apply the matrix. The value of the matrix should be be positive. If the value of at least one of the value of the matrix is positive, then obviously the condition is satisfied. Otherwise, uh, even if I, uh, even if the order condition is identifying a particular equation, then obvious uh, we cannot conclude that this model is of exactly identified or, or over identified. That means, for any equation to be identified, it, it has to be it has to be gone through order condition and also rank condition. If one condition satisfy and other condition are not satisfy, then obviously this equation cannot be possible. That's that will be treated as a under identify. Okay. So now let us see what is the structure of rank condition. 
So, now rain conditions in the rain conditions, rain conditions. So, it is the system in a, in a system of G equation, any particular equation is to be identified if it is possible to construct at least one non zero determinant of order G minus 1 of the coefficient of the variable included from the particular equation, but uh, included from the other equation of the model. So, this is how the definition of uh, uh, rain condition. So, there is a certain guidelines to apply the rain condition, but that guidelines is very perfect, very accurate, very systematic. So, there is no confusion at all. So, you just follow me. So, what is rain condition here? So, there are altogether there are five steps. Okay. Step 1, step 1 just to write all the parameters, you write all the parameters in a separate tables. Okay. Write all the parameters in the separate tables. Okay. Uh, including all these you know uh, including all these error term also okay including uh, uh, means uh, uh, take all these uh, error terms in the other sides then you take the all the parameters in that particular sides okay step 2 then strike out strike out the rows of the coefficient rows of coefficients okay which we like to which you like to identify, okay? Which you like to identify. For instance, uh, suppose uh, uh, as per the previous problem, so we have y1, y2, y3, x1, x2, x3, okay? In that case, this is equation one, this is equation two, this is equation three, okay? This is equation three. So we need to have a prepared table like this, okay? So write all these parameters. Uh, in it you know met, uh, tabular form so okay so this is how you have to represent all these things okay so this is how you have to prepare this particular tables okay so now uh, second uh, second step is strike out all the rows of the coefficient which you are you like to identify for instance suppose we like to uh, first we fill up all these gaps i will uh, i will uh, highlight all these things with respect to a particular example so once you fill up all these means this this particular matrix is the coefficient of all these variables okay so which we have not used in the case of counting rules so in the order condition the coefficient of all these variables is very important uh, to test the rank condition for identification problem so now uh, there are three equations here equation 1 equation 2 equation 3 so for if it is first equation to be identified then you have to cross this particular uh, arrow okay you have to cross this particular Row like this. Okay, so uh, it's better you put here. So uh, you have to cross this particular uh, row. Then again, uh, in the st third step, in the third step, in the step step three, strike out all the columns. Strike out all the, strike out the column columns, columns. Strike out the columns where the variable is already there in the system. For instance, for first equations we have y1, y2, x1, and x2. So that means it has to be removed all this oh, oh, sorry y1 y2 x1 and x2 okay so this this will be remain there and this will be remain there so okay this will be remain there so okay so now uh, in the step four so you prepare a reduced form of the matrix this is structural matrix so you prepare a reduced form of a matrix after you know deleting all these rows and deleting all these columns so whatever left out items so we have, we we call it is a reduced form of the matrix. So, then once you have reduced form of the matrix, so you design a, uh, you design a mat, uh, matrix or determinant which value should means you have to design a square matrix of order uh, say uh, 1, 1 or 2, 2 or 3, 3 like this. So, then if the value of a part uh, if and uh, means there may be several uh, such square matrix can be obtained. For instance, uh, it may be 1, uh, it may be uh, uh, obviously it cannot be 1. So, it may be 2, 2, 2 3, 3, uh, 4, 4 like this way. So, the value of that matrix should be at least one of such value should be you know positive, then you know the system uh, order con uh, sorry rank condition can be satisfied. Otherwise, even if order condition satisfies, this equation cannot be identified. Okay. So, let me take an uh, example here, the same example we will uh, uh, highlight here. So, uh, you see here, so uh, what is that example? So, the example is y 1 equal to here y 1 equal to here 3 y 2 oh, minus 2 x 1 plus x 2 plus u 1. Okay. Then uh, similarly y 2 equal to y 3 plus x 3 plus u 2 okay, 
plus x3 plus u2 ok. So, then y3 equal to y1 minus y2 minus 2x3 plus u3. So, what you have to do? To take all these items in the left side, okay. So then you prepare the matrix here. So now this matrix is the step one process. Step one process. So y one, y two, y three, x one, x two, x three. Okay. So y one. So you bring all these things here. So that means uh, if this, the, if you bring all these things, then means minus y one plus three y two minus minus two x one minus 2 x 1 plus x 2 plus u 1 equal to 0. Okay. So, this is first equation, this is we are just simplifying this equation. So, then minus y 2 plus y 3 plus x 3 plus u 2 equal to 0, then minus y 3 minus uh, plus y 1 minus y 2 minus 2 x 3 plus u 3 is equal to 0. Okay. So, this is how this transformation. So, now it is equation 1, equation 1, this is equation 2, then equation, equation 3, okay, equation, uh, equation 3, alright. So, now uh, uh, you have to just enter the value, value. so y, for first equation, this is y1 is minus 1, then y2 equal to 3, then uh, y3 0, then x1 minus 2, then x2 1, then and then then and this is minus 2 okay minus 2 1 then it is 0 okay then 0 all right then come to second equation in the second equation in the second equation y1 y1 is not uh, not available so 0 then this is minus 1 this is 1 then 0 0 this is 1 okay then for equation 3 so y1 is there so 1 then y2 is there minus 1, y3 is there minus 1, then x1 0, x2 0, then x3 is minus 2. That means, if some variables are there, then obviously there will be some coefficient. If variable is not there, then you assume that that coefficient is 0, okay? coefficient is 0. So, as a result, you prepare this, you prepare this, you know, structural matrix. Okay? So, this is called as a structural matrix. Okay? This is called as a structural matrix of this particular simultaneous equation modeling. So, now uh, uh, suppose our target is to identify equation 1, okay. our target is, uh, uh, is to test whether equation 1 is, means we have already got that equation 1 is exactly identified by the counting rule. So, we have to test through rank condition. So, now if you apply rank condition, then by the uh, principle of rank condition, so equation 1 row of each elements in that case has to be you can say removed. So, that means this particular uh, line has to be removed, alright. So, now uh, then all colo column, columns where the coefficients are uh, not 0 has to be uh, removed, ok. So, now mm, y 1 has to be removed, then y 2 y 2 has to be removed, then 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 y 3 is not, uh, y 3 is not there. So, it will be remain there x 1 will be removed, then x 2 will be removed. Okay. So, now we prepare the left out matrix. So, that is the reduced form of the matrix. So, the reduced form of matrix is nothing but y 3, x 3, then equation 2, equation 3. So, that is a reduced form of the matrix. So, y 3, so it is 1, this is minus 1, this is 1, this is um, 1 minute, oh, x 1, x 2, oh, oh sorry. This is y1, y2, x1, and x2. All right, this is first equation. Uh, okay, uh, so uh, one, uh, 1 minus 1, 1 minus 1, 1 minus 2. Okay, 1 minus 2. This is okay. So now this is the matrix of square matrix. So we can prepare this matrix. So now minus 2 into this one uh, minus 1 is equal to say, uh, you know. Uh, minus 2, this is minus 2, minus 2, minus 1, which is not positive, okay, which is not coming positive, okay. So, it is not equal to 0. So, it is not equal to 0, it is not equal to 0, okay. So, it is not equal to 0. So, that means it is the, this condition is satisfied. If the value of the matrix is equal to 0, then obviously 
the coefficient cannot be uh, means that uh, equation cannot be identified. Okay. So, similarly, let us see we in the you know this uh, this uh, structural uh, reduced form matrix is very simple because we are getting only a single matrix one because here you see if I will go one by one then delta one is you can say only one. Okay. So, delta 2 is this is delta 2 is delta 2 is minus 2 minus 1 this is order of 2 into 2 okay this is 1 into 1 okay. So, now we have uh, determinant means it should be you know uh, some square form. So, that has to be uh, not equal to 0 okay not equal to 0 if it is equal to 0 then that equation has to be declared as a uh, under identify okay. So, similarly we can go for uh, suppose our target is to identify the second equation. Let us see uh, in fact second equation may be little bit complex because it is coming simple. So, we will see the second equation structure. So, as usual we have to prepare this particular equation. So, this is what uh, y 1. So, this is y 2, this is y 3, this is y 3, this is x 1, this is x 2, this is x 3 then equation 1, equation 2, equation 3. Okay. So, this is how we have to prepare. So, as usual you have to draw this line. So, okay. x 1, x 2, x 3, then equation 2, then equation 3. All right. So, then this is equation 1. All right. So, now we have to we, we have to pinpoint all these items. So, now uh, for y 1. So, equation 1 this is this is uh, this is minus 1 this is minus 1, then this is 3, this is min, uh, minus 2, minus 2, this is 1, so other items has to be 0, other item has to be 0. Then this is, this is minus 1, this is minus 1, 1, then this is 1, rest item will be 0, rest item will be 0, alright. Then third, this is minus 3 g minus 1, this is 1, this is uh, minus 1 okay so then um, this is minus 2 uh, x3 is minus 2 x3 is minus 2 then uh, x1 is 0 x2 is 0 okay so this is uh, this is what the structural matrix is all about so now let's say equation 2 equation 2 is uh, 2 equation 2 has to be identified this is has to be identified so now what you have to do so now first first step is to remove this row second row then you have to see this column has to be removed where there is the elements ok. So, now what is the reduced form equation? So, reduced form is this is equation 1 then equation 3 equation 2 will be removed automatically. So, now this is y 1 then x 1 then x 2 ok. So, this is minus 1 this minus 1 1 then uh, then minus 2 0 1 0 ok. So, 1 0. So, now, so this is very in fact little bit complex ok, because this particular matrix reduced form of matrix is not in a in a square form ok. So, because in the earlier case we get the matrix in a square form. So, your job is little bit simple, but here the job is little bit complex, because once you have such type of uh, you know uneven numbers for means if it is not square matrix then you cannot get the value of determinant. So, what you have to do? You have to now prepare a square matrix here. So, ok. So, it is. So, there are three matrix you can uh, you can prepare here. So, delta 1. So, minus 1, minus 2, 1, 0. This is uh, one case. Then delta 2, delta 2, uh, uh, delta 2 equal to minus 1, uh, 1, 1, 0. So, this is delta 2. Then delta 3 is equal to minus 2 1 0 0 ok. So, this is equal to 0 this is equal to 0. So, this case is rejected ok this case is rejected. So, this is nothing but uh, this is nothing but 2 ok this is 2. So, which is not equal to 0 ok. So, this is um, uh, this is minus 1. So, not equal to 0 ok. So, the, the one determinant is coming positive and not equal to 0. So, that means that means this system second equation is a, a order condition is satisfied. So, now uh, for which particular equation has to be identified, which particular equation has to be identified for that you need to have you need to again go to order condition. So, that means in the case uh, in, the, in the case of identification problem. So, once uh, 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 the essence uh, I mean starting point is 
you have to go by counting rules, then once counting rule is ok, then you have to test it through uh, rank condition, but you know, but if you list, uh, if this is do, uh, you know uh, double way process, it is better you start with the first rank condition, then ultimately you get, if it is a, if it is you know the equation is not satisfying rank condition, then obviously no point, no point to go uh, order conditions, but if you go by order condition, then ultimately it has to be tested through rank condition. So, that means sufficient condition must, uh, has to be satisfied. So, first uh, my suggestion is first you check the order condition, sorry rank condition, if rank condition says ok, then you have to go to order condition. What is the need of order condition here? The need of order condition is that, so it will give you whether the uh, equation is exactly identified or over identified. So, by the way, so you will come to a conclusion that which particular whether the equation is exactly identified or you know uh, uh, over identified or you can say under identified. So, this is how this is all about the uh, structure of identification problems. Okay. This is all about the structure of identification problems. So, that means, so next part of this problem is called as a estimation problem. So, now so, means basically what we, what we are highlighting here. So, once you have a system uh, of simultaneous equation, then obviously, uh, it, uh, it is something different to single equation modeling. So, in the single equation modeling, where there are uh, you know uh, uh, means uh, there is always dependent variable, one dependent variable and uh, one or multiple independent variables and uh, okay, the condition is that the C, uh, there is only one way causality. That means, uh, every time only independent variable has an influence on dependent variables, okay. but in the case of, uh, but in the case of you know simultaneous equation modeling, it is, the, it is not a structure of single equation system where there is a one way causality, but here there is a you know two way causality. That means, the, uh, 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 there is a, uh, means there are interdependent. So, that means, there is a possibility of bidirectional causality. So, uh, exactly not bidirectional, uh, there is a two way causality that means, uh, uh, the unidirectional and bidirectional there is something there is a inside hidden factor. So, that we will discuss or details in the case of pure time series modeling. So, time uh, times uh, means, uh, in if you will apply the time series modeling, so the concept of bidirectional means every independent means every variable has any river. For instance, if there are uh, like this, uh, okay. so let us say y 1 and y 2. So, y 1 one top on this influence and y 2 this this upon influence. So, like you know y 3 y 4. So, okay. so, this is influence like that way, this is influence like that way, but you know uh, uh, here in the simultaneous equation molding. So, we cannot directly call bidirectional causality, we can call two way causality. Sometimes what happens all these dependent variables may not be similarly influenced uh, exactly on other variables. For instance, y 2 may be influenced by uh, y 1, but not exactly y 1 influenced by y 2. It may be y 1 again influenced by y 3. So, like that there is a different cluster altogether. So, this is the speciality of uh, you know structural equation modeling. So, uh, the exact bidirectional causality problems we will discuss in the case of time series modeling, which we will discuss after few lectures only. So, now here here the major issue is uh, that uh, you know uh, identification problem, so which we have already highlighted and the next issue is the estimation process. So, what is all about this estimation tricks? Okay. All right. uh, so, uh, what is this uh, estimation problem here? Uh, okay, uh, put it in other way here. Uh, uh, simultaneous equation modeling, simultaneous equation modeling, which we have highlighted here, identification problem, identification problem. So which we have, which which we can settle through order condition and rank conditions. But uh, when we will go for you know estimation problems, when we will go for estimation problem, then obviously. Uh, the estimation problem. So, that means, uh, uh, what is the problem? That means, OLS, the application of OLS to a particular equation without having, uh, uh, without having substantial information about the other equation, then the system will be biased, inconsistent, inefficient or cannot be, means it cannot uh, altogether it cannot satisfy the blue theorem. Okay? 
So, ultimately we have to look for alternative techniques. There are series of alternative techniques which are available for simultaneous equation modeling. Let me highlight here. Okay. The starting procedure is called as a indirect least square methods. Okay. Indirect least square methods, so, ILS or its other way is called as a reduced form of the models, reduced form of the uh, form of the models, okay. reduced form of the model. ILS stands for indirect least square methods, indirect least squares, least squares methods, okay. indirect least squares methods. So, then next is instrumental variable technique, okay. instrumentals IV, instrumentals, instrumental variable technique, okay. instrumental variable technique. Okay. Then next is mixed estimation methods. Okay. So, ME stands for mixed estimation methods, mixed estimation, mixed estimation methods. Okay. Then there is called as a two stage least square methods. Okay. Two stage, two, two SLS, two stage least square methods. Okay. Two SLS. Okay. So, that is nothing but two stage two stage least squares least squares methods t stage least squares methods okay so this is this is two, two sls then then uh, maximum likelihood information method uh, limited uh, it's better put limited maximum li, uh, limited information maximum likelihood methods limited liml lim, limited liml limited limited max information of maximum uh, limited information limited information maximum likelihood estimators maximum likelihood methods likely likely likelihood likelihood methods likelihood methods okay limited information uh, limited information maximum likelihood methods then and there is called as a three stage least square methods and another is called as a full information maximum likelihood methods FIML. Okay. So, one is called as a uh, three stage least square methods th three SLS that is three stage that is three stage three stage least square methods three stage least squares methods okay. and another is called as a F uh, FIML. FIML it is called as a full information, full information maximum likelihood, maximum likelihood, likelihood methods, maximum likelihood methods. Okay. So, now you see here this first technique, uh, the, you know there are all together 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, there are 7 techniques. So, these are all one groups. Okay. So, these are all gr one groups and three stage uh, uh, maximum three stage least square method and full information maximum likelihood method is another another groups. Okay. So, uh, the standard trick is that. So, this is called as a this particular uh, you know uh, instrumental variable technique indirect least square method maximum likelihood ma estimation method two stage least square method then limited information maximum likelihood method these are all called as a single equation method technique and uh, three stage least square methods and full information maximum likelihood methods are called as a uh, simultaneous system methods okay so this is single equation method and system method so that means so, far as the estimation problem is concerned, so direct uh, application of OLS to a individual equation in the simultaneous equation system will give you bias and inconsistent result. So, ultimately we have to apply, we have to apply, uh, we have to apply you can say uh, uh, alternative methods. So, so far as the alternative methods are concerned, so we have, uh, we have series of techniques starting from reduced form of the methods that is indirect least square method, instrumental variable, mixed estimation method, two stage least square method, limited information maximum likelihood methods, uh, limited information maximum likelihood methods, then three stage least square methods, then full information maximum likelihood methods. So, except, uh, except three stage least square method and full information maximum likelihood methods, all other methods are treated as a single equation method 
and three stage least square method and full information maximum likelihood methods are called as a system methods. So, these are the basic structures uh, of you know uh, model estimations means the estimation problem of simultaneous equation modeling. So, I am not going to discuss the detail about all these you know uh, techniques uh, that is means uh, that is related to indirect least square method in uh, instrumental variable technique, mixed estimation techniques, two stage least square methods, uh, uh, limited information maximum likelihood method, uh, three stage least square method and full information maximum likelihood method. These methods are uh, you know very uh, not too much complex uh, except full information maximum likelihood methods. Other very simple like always technique, but there is a little bit different structure and setup. So, uh, we have not time to discuss each and every technique separately. So, that is how uh, I, I am restricting this particular component here only. So, it requires uh, more number of lecture to describe all these details with respect to all these detailed derivation of this technique. But uh, our problem is not to highlight details about all these techniques, our problem is to uh, specify how is the estimation problem and how quickly we can solve this type of estimation problem uh, through various techniques. Okay. So, uh, uh, with this we can uh, we can conclude the simultaneous equation modeling system here. In the next time see related to simultaneous equation modeling there is a problem called as a structural equation modeling. So, we will discuss structural equation modeling in the next class. With this we can conclude this particular session. Uh, thank you very much have a nice day.